from today's clubs. Two key club information. We've got the scoop. <laughs> Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, hello and welcome to another edition of the Inside Scoop. I'm Roberto. And I'm Odalis. Today is a Tuesday, September 8th, 2018. And on this special day is the birthday of one of the most famous well-known singers named Bruno Mars. He's turning 33 years old. Bruno Mars was born in Hawaii and after high school he decided to move to Los Angeles to pursue his dreams. He began to start having success after writing songs for famous artists such as Floor Rider's song, The Ride Round, Billionaires on 2010, Bruno Mars was featured Nothing On You, which became a number one hit, and that's where he start of fame began. A few months ago, later, he released his de debut studio album, which reached number three on Billboard album charts. Also, his single Grenade and Lazy Song both reached top ten on the single chart. Fast forward in 2018, his album 20 24K Magic won the Grammy Award of the Album of the Year and Song of the Year. That's what I like. <laughs> Plus, he won four more Grammy um, the same year. Bruno Mars became a famous icon in the music industry and idols to many uh, more. Happy birthday, Bruno Mars. Hey, elementary school, have you ever played tag? Oh my gosh, yes I did. It was so much fun. It was my whole elementary school experience. Sometimes I hated getting tagged because it was hard for me to tag them back. Why? Why do you ask? Because today is National Tag Day. They have a National Tag Day? No way, really? I know, right? I can't believe there's National Days for Tag. There's National Day for anything these days. Have you heard of any programs people can join? Well, the junior and sophomore e-business class is looking for more students to come and join the program. In sophomore year, the class learn about the basic business, um, learn about the basic um, for business to get ready for the junior year. Then in junior year, students start to pretend, uh, start a pretend company and get out to compete with other schools involving the program. Also, the junior alongside with the senior are going to travel to San Francisco in the spring. However, this trip is not free, so you have to pay. But overall, this program is fun and a different type of classroom style, all for a century. If any junior or sophomores are interested in joining this program, come talk to Mr. Gersten in the room 433 to learn more about the class, and possibly you can become a new member. How have you heard of any programs? Well, I heard that the speech and debate class is looking for new members to come and join in speech. You get a script and get some coaching on how to perfect it. Then on some few Saturdays, you get to the, compete with other schools and you could possibly win an award, depending on your placement. Also, if the coaches see your determination and improvements, you make that you might be selected to go to a travel competition for free. The, this year, some students will be able to compete in Bradley University and Harvard University. Plus, you will get to new, meet new students who will become your next family. If you're interested in this topic, talk to Mr. Gerdrich in room 424. Wow, that's so awesome. Any more programs? Well, yes, attention to all females. The Girls Inc. of Orange County is offering programs for any female high school students. Inform, in charge, and in action. Open to all high school girls that are passionate about speaking up about issues that are important to them. The goal of the program is to expose and encourage girls to take on more leadership positions during the educational career in hopes that more females will run for public office. Upon completion of this program, each participant will receive at least 15 hours of community service. Participants will take place in creating a workshop series about sexual harassment and sexual violence against women that they will be able to
percent to elected officials and schools administration skills learned leadership public speaking government public policy confidence professionalism networking research program starts date october 16 from four o'clock to six there's a 2020 inter in externship program uh, it's open to all 9th through 11th grade girls who are interested in exploring the possibilities for a career, building relationships with mentors, and receiving a $500 step in by completing the program. Uh, completion includes 80 hours of professional development workshops scheduled once a month at an Orange County college and an 80 hour summer internship at, a, an, ass at an assigned Orange County business. Also, there's our G third generation Giga Girls. A 10-week program for 15 to 18 years old girls in the open start their world to data analytics. Girls embark on advocacy-based research project focused on exploring data and statistics and race school disciplines experience. Skills learn Excel, statistics, research, presentation, community awareness, advocacy. If you want to join, you have to email tjackson at girlsinc slash oc.org. The program date is September 30th, December 9th, Mondays from 4.30 to 6.30. Also, if you have any question about the programs, you could talk to Ms. Sanchez in the Higher Ed Center. Also, there's a special event called Love Your Body, period. <laughs> to celebrate International Day of the Girl at the Center with fun activities, free bees, food, food, free food, and a small community service project, an optional workshop will be provided to educate and in the conversation surrounding the menstrual cycle and focusing and empowering individuals to love and understand their body. When? Saturday, October 12th from 11 to 1 p.m. Where? At the Girls Inc. of Orange County Center, 1815 Anaheim Avenue, Costa Mesa, California. Who? All family members and community supporters are invited to attend, regardless of age or gender. I might even just come to get free food. <laughs> but also to support the females. Have you heard anything about cross country? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I heard that cross country has a race tomorrow, and it's technically the only home meet of the season tomorrow at Irvine Regional Park. Com uh, at commemorating of um, the 556 years and 362 days anniversary of Columbus arrival to the new world. Race starts at 3 p.m. with varsity girls and boys going off at 4.30 and 5 respectively. Two athletes, Coach Cruz, would like to recognize our George Abarak and Paulina Portolio. <laughs> George has been among the most improved this season, dropping minutes off his times from last year. Paulina had one of her best races on Saturday as she closes in on returning to last year's fitness. Wow, that's so amazing. Hey Roberto, are you excited for Halloween? Yes, I'm really excited. I can't wait for my siblings to get home from trick-or-treating so I can steal their candy. <laughs> that's so mean. Why would you do that to your own siblings? Anyways, <laughs> you know that you could bring your family and siblings to the Halloween carnival held in October 30th at the Quad. There's going to be games, prize cookies, decorating, a costume, costume contest, and food will be sold. It's going to be held at 5 to 7 p.m. You know, I might just take my siblings to the carnival so they won't be that mad at me for taking their candy. Guess what we're celebrating this week? Uh, does it involve eating pizza? <laughs> no, it's National Mental Awareness Week, and here's a video to explain more about it. Oh, I'll fix it. Where is the boss? I'm late, and mom's gonna kill me. It's really dark. I always feel like someone's watching me. I'm gonna fail my driving test. I'm dropping to pass maths. I'm never gonna get this essay done by Monday. Am I going to get enough points in leaving? Why don't guys like me? They're just hanging out with me out of pity. I just want to talk to someone. I should be studying, but I can't. I'm going to fail the leaving search. 
Will's gonna break up with me. Why can't they leave me alone? I can't face school tomorrow. My mum doesn't understand me. Are they separating for real this time? Should I move in with my mom or my dad? Is that going to get better? What am I gonna do with my life? I need a job. They're gonna kill me for failing that exam. I spend way too much time on Facebook. What should I do in college? Do, do I have any real friends? Why am I such a freak? Why is everyone mocking me? I look horrible. Will anyone go to my dad's with me? Why did I get drunk and make such a fool out of myself? Everyone judges me. What's everyone gonna think about me tomorrow? What's my mum gonna say? I'm afraid to talk to my friends. My parents won't listen. There's no one to turn to. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. 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 Are you okay? Um, actually... We all have problems. It's how we deal with them that makes us different. If negative thoughts are overwhelming you, you can always talk to a friend, a parent, a teacher, a guidance counsellor, or a healthcare professional. Control your problems. Control your life. So remember if you're having negative feelings about yourself on a regular basis, you don't need to be tough it out on your own. These are people on campus to help you. Your first place to start will probably be your counselors. Then your counselors will figure out the next step to help you out. Don't go alone. Get help. We all care. Also, it's National Bully Prevention, Preven Prevention Month, and here's a video to explain more about it. You can't sit here. Don't add her to the chain. It was just a joke. We're not friends. Why are you talking to me? He started it. She's so gross. Lame. Loser. Weirdo. I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. I don't want to exclude anyone. I don't want to make anyone feel lonely. Left out. Hurt. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment. And consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. Bowling isn't just right and it's not right. Everyone has the right to be him or herself without being bullied because they're different. If, you're, if you wouldn't like it done to you, don't do it to other people. Be part of the Century family where we all help each other and, instead of tearing each other down. Also, attention all seniors. Key Club membership is open if you want to earn community service hours through them. You have to pay a fee of $11 with 50 cents to keep track of your hours. And you will also get a stash if you complete all the hours. So make sure to pay by the end of this month. Also today, come and support the varsity tennis team that are going to play against Anaheim. Well, that's all the news we got for today. Bye. <laughs>